If you want to support the platform, just in case anything like this happens again, you can do it by way of PayPal, Patreon, uh, Cash App, and also by um, the Anchor. And you can also further support the platform by way of going to the uh, the Teespring store or um, the shoe store that is located in the comment section below. Patrice Colors, the co-founder of Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation, has spent tens of thousands of dollars in the renovation of her luxury Los Angeles home amid allegations that the leader of the organization used donations to enrich themselves. The donations have been meant to better struggling African-American communities. Reports highlight that some state and local Black Lives Matter chapters have been disaffiliated with the national organization because of corruption allegations moreover the parents of several black men that had their lives taken by way of police have criticized the organization for fundraising off of their trauma without sharing the donations owns four United States homes worth over 3.2 million. She purchased a $1.4 million home in 2021 in a predominantly white upper class neighborhood. Colors recently completed renovations worth tens of thousands of dollars at her luxurious LA home, adding a new pool and backyard sauna. Reports also state that she also added a children's play area for her young son outside of her 2,580 square foot three bedroom home in Los Angeles, Topanga Cannon neighborhood. One of her properties, which has since been sold, was attached to an airport hangar and runway in an Atlanta suburb. The Black Lives Matter co-founder over the last past year admitted to using the organization's property twice for personal uses, but she denied purchasing homes for herself and members of her family. A real estate blog also revealed that the activist brought this property, which is the Topanga Canyon home for $1.4 million, and brought that under her company, Abolitionist Entertainment, LLC. Thing, and I've stated this before. And I stated some things previously about uh, BLM and how it is that they had their mission statement changed about, what, two to three times. And it stated a variety of things, but none of those things specifically had to do with a nuclear black family, meaning a black man, black woman, black kids, home and all of these other great things. Um, and also nothing in that mission statement from my recollection stated how they were going to use that money in order to better the black communities from which that money came from or was, you know, supposedly going to be donated to. Meaning that if a black man ended up losing his life in said community, that the money donated specifically to that black man and under that black man's name would be used to help better his family to help propel them into a uh, a different avenue meaning you know potentially putting the kids you know college education you know things of that nature maybe getting them directly out of that area uh paying for medical bills funeral costs and you know a variety of things of that nature but as we can clearly see those are things that have not taken place and this is why a lot of the families have an issue because blm is getting millions of dollars or hundreds of million dollars whatever whatever the number is that's all money that the families are not seeing they're not seeing that money at all like i don't care if they have lawsuits with the city and they ended up getting money that way the money that the corporate entity that these individuals that control blm right the money that they get off of that family's name off of the loss of life that took place in that community that money belongs to that community it belongs to said family it should not still be with this organization and them being able to use it to make further profit for them to basically get rich off of and better their families uh buy homes and, and all this lavish type of stuff like i said it makes no sense why is it as i stated before that an organization such as this why would one of the women show up in a cadillac commercial 
what's going on here what does that have to do with black lives what does that have to do with the young black men and the older black men who ended up losing their lives what 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 does that have to do with that it has zero to do with that zero the only thing that that has to deal with is self gain and self interest it has to do with greed the fact of seeing these quote unquote individuals because i can't call them leaders i have to say these individuals right because they're a part of a corporation a part of a corporate entity right which they run the money directly through and what you are clearly able to see is what one individual has been doing with said money and how said individual has been caught using you know said property for themselves if you have you know your own home and all this other type of stuff there's no reason for you to use quote unquote business properties right for you to conduct things dealing with friends and family that has nothing to do with business that has nothing to do with the betterment of the community of which that money directly came from and this is why i told a lot of people before that the main branding for it which is black lives matter i agree with that sentiment but when it comes to everything else that is attached to it everything else that has been done with it how it has been elevated to this point where it has lost its meaning is just words i don't agree with any of that at all i don't agree with it at all now i will say this before when people gave critiques and this was like ultra earlier on right i did have a problem with it because i'm like yo why would you want to directly dismantle and, and, and try to go after a group that's trying to bring awareness to the things that are taking place but when you start to go by and you do your own research and you dive a little bit deeper the individuals who are attached to this and then you can see how the money is getting spent and you know who's specifically you know putting the money directly in there and who's profiting from it it's like you know what i you know i was incorrect uh, or getting angry at people's critiques over this organization just ask yourself how many of those families were able to buy homes in lavish neighborhoods and live happily ever after and have even more homes in different states along with you know all of these expensive cars and not, not not a lot not a lot if any at all how many of them are doing just as well as any of the co-founders of blm pretty much very little if not none at all like i said before there's a problem and it needs to be sorted out and it needs to be fixed and the main way to in a sense fix that problem is to fix where the problem is coming from which means you know in general black people have to come up with other things in order to get awareness directly out there we need to have more grassroots organizations that the community actually controls that the community has created that the community is the one pushing not something in a sense coming out of nowhere like icy spice <laughs> that's the best way i could put it if you don't know who that is yeah it's, it's it's good that you don't but um you know that's my main point this is 100 crazy it shouldn't be happening at all this is almost to the same extent of preachers doing the exact same thing where preachers are getting all of this funny uh all of this <laughs> well matter of fact i keep it where preachers are getting all of this funny <laughs> you know and all of this uh funding directly from the community but at the end of the day they don't live in the community they don't live amongst the community they're not really a part of the community they're living driving eating shopping vacationing better than everybody else in the community and then still come back around and ask people to tithe because what do they do oh you know it's because it's in the word it's, it's what god tells you to do it's in the bible how religion automatically holds people captive and it forces them to do things instead of actually critically think 
about what you should do. Like I said, I learned a long time ago, I'm not giving money to a church. I'd rather give it to somebody on the street because at least I know where it's going. And there's a potential chance that, yeah, it could get used wrong or it's a potential chance that the person is going to use it for what they're supposed to use it for. But at least I know that versus it going into the pockets of a preacher. And this dude is, you know, pulling in, you know, 50 grand a month for his living expenses. You know, while I'm out here taking, you know, public transportation. I don't got time for that. I'm not about to, you know, facilitate, you know, all of these luxurious things that you want to sit up there and do off of my dime. We're not doing that. And this is why black people need to stop supporting this as well. 